show you that I just grew this flower for you. It's a rose for those days, so I came all the way to say I'm thankful that you said I just grew this flower for you. I'm the seed that you sowed, no words, so please let me show you that I just grew this flower for you. It's a rose for those days, so I came all the way to say I'm thankful that you said me. Let me put this hood on. Just the beehive. Back here, I ain't trying to get ate up. We're going to feed the worms. Day in the life of a farmer. Right now we got our worm farm out. Four of them have bottom trays to catch the water. The other two don't. So we got to go to the store and get two more bins so we can have a water catcher at the bottom. We are straining nutrient rich pen poop from the worms. Thank you worms. So we can feed it to our garden. Let's get to it. It's a great day to plant life. Protect the worms. The worms do not like the heat. We feed the worms every two months. Oh, damn. Be careful. All right, perfect. So we're gonna cover that to protect it from the heat. And just slide this on top so it don't blow off. Damn, there we go. We got bins. For a worm bin, we need to add holes for drainage and airflow. So we're gonna drill some holes, not too big that the worms can go through. Holes all the way around the top and holes all in the bottom so we can get the fluid. Look at all that goodness. The plant juice to drain to the catch tray at the bottom. All natural plant juice, plantlife.com. My worms eat what I eat. Let's get a drill any kind of drill. This bit I have on here is an eighth inch. So we just gonna poke this through. We just gonna poke, ah, just real quick, just real, just real quick. They don't need to be perfect. They just need to have some holes for the airflow. All the way around. I'm going three levels of holes. You could do two, it don't matter. However you feel like you see fit. It's a nice day in the bay. I feel good. That sun hitting them antennas. The sun out there is talking to the sun in here. How y'all doing today? I'm supposed to be in the tropics, living. Close to the equator. We gonna get there though, don't trip. It's coming. This is the first steps to freedom. If you want freedom, you need some composters. Having a worm bin gonna make your garden better, guaranteed. Tea. You don't have a worm farm? You a gardener? What are you doing? Are you even gardening? You see how we got these holes across the top, all the way around on all four sides. So now we're just gonna run through and poke them through the bottom. It ain't no pattern, just poke the holes, man. Just poke the holes. It ain't no right or wrong. Just get it done. All right, that looked pretty good right there. So we got holes at the bottom of this. We just need to drain it. Don't gotta be perfect. It's perfect because you touched it. It's already perfect. If you like the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe. We appreciate you. If you see anything that I'm doing wrong, 
or I can fix. I want to give accurate information to you guys. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments and we're going to fix it. If you like what I'm doing, say what's up in the comments and let us know where you are, where you farming at. If you're trying to get into farming, what kind of farm you want to do, what you want to grow, what you growing now. We want to know all that. We need to build this community. Just stick with me. Don't skip. You might miss something. Y'all want me to shut up and just work? Let me know. I can do that too. That look just like being number one. So I had two of them that didn't have drainage. And it was puddling up. We're just gonna transfer the worms over. Oh, there it go. You have the top bin, which is the bin with the holes in it for the airflow and the drainage. It's gonna sit on top and inside of the bin that does not have any holes in it because that is the bin that's gonna catch all the drainage. Bam, fixed. Some people like the lasagna, they worm bins. That means put the peat moss at the bottom or cardboard or newspaper at the bottom as a form of bedding, you can also use wood chips, mulch, paper products. Then you put your food scraps right there and then the worms gonna go through it. I like to mix all mine together so that the worms can evenly break it down all at the same time. Every bite that they get, it's gonna be consistent. Remember, the bin with the holes is gonna be the bin at the top. Scoop it to one side. Our new food on this side, they already broke this down right here. This already broke down. Oh, it's a pepper. They don't mess with peppers. See, they not gonna eat this. I don't know how this got in here, but they not gonna eat the peppers. Anything spicy, garlicky, onion, they don't want it. We got three buckets of food. We making our worm food. Some mushroom compost from a mushroom farm. You wanna always monitor what you're feeding the worms because that's feeding your garden. You don't wanna just give your worms just anything. I mean, shit, sometimes even the, even the coffee grounds from Starbucks, that might not be too good because, you know, I don't use coffee grounds from Starbucks. Mushrooms need a extremely sterile environment to grow. So any pathogens, mushrooms won't grow. Find your local mushroom farm near you, $50 for like, Two yards, they're gonna tear this up. We appreciate y'all pulling up on us today, checking out what we do. So we cover it. Oh, damn. Ugh, come on. Bam, mixing container. As you can see, it's a great day to plant life. Welcome to the I Am Plant Life YouTube experience. We appreciate y'all pulling up, seeing what we up to today. Without further ado, let's feed the worms. Always, always, always keep it as clean as possible. You want everything that goes into your system to be clean, healthy, disease-free, and as organic as you could possibly get it. We're using high quality materials, OMRI approved, Sphagnum peat moss from Canada. We got some mushroom compost, barley from our local brewery. Worms gonna tear this up. Don't trip if you see little bugs and it don't even trip off that, man, it's nature. We got our kitchen scraps. To it. I tried it. I'm just gonna chop it up. Chop it up. Come here with a machete. Oh, damn. It's gonna be harder for them to break it down when they hold pieces. But that's okay, they still gonna eat it, but it just won't be as fast. We gonna one part, one part, one part this. Everything gets one parts. So we gonna start. Mushroom compost. Man, any chunks, you gonna break them up. Break the chunks up like this. Any big chunks. The worms gonna work through all this, so I mean, you don't really have to do this, but I like to do it. Just like 
this. Mix it around. Get it in there. Plant Life Sustainable Hoodie. Made from 100% recycled material. That look great. This is the type of work I could do. I like this. But working for somebody else, sorry, not sorry. I think we just here to learn. But, you know, other forces don't want you to learn. Stay away from the distractions. Find your purpose. My purpose is to be working in soil, replenishing the earth. That's my purpose. When you're doing stuff like this, make sure you keep your knees bent. Don't bend over like this. That's not good for your back. Good posture. Use your whole body to do this. I'm not using just my arms. I'm using my whole body. Sometimes I put the shovel on the end and use my leg or put it on my hip to use my hip to give it some extra force. Work smarter, not harder. Whew, that's some work, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna use nature to help us, cause who knows better than nature? I can tell you, not no damn scientists in no lab. The worms, they gonna compost for us. They do it faster. Then the microbes by themselves, they gonna go bananas over some avocado. They see an avocado, they gonna instantly start reproducing. Now we gonna add this uh, peat moss. Peat moss gonna absorb some of this moisture. If you like what I'm doing today, feel free to leave a donation. A donation just don't mean money. It can mean a like, a share, a subscribe. Now, if you wanna send some money, the links will be in the description. If you want to be a part of the next project, we building a chicken coop. So as soon as we get the funds together for that, that's going to be our next project. Y'all know how hot eggs is. And y'all heard they didn't pass the fake meat bill. I'm wondering how long they've been giving us fake meat. That's just a question. I got a lot of questions. I got hella questions. Question everything, question everything. Do not believe what somebody simply just told you. Please, I encourage you to look it up for yourself. If something don't sound right, it probably ain't. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, so you want to break this stuff down before going here because it's going to take a long time for the worms to break this whole, these whole fruits down. So I'm going to try to chop it as best as I could. If you got some leaf material, leaf mold, that'll go good in here too. Anything you find in your garden, as long as you ain't sprayed it with no ground up. You should be good to put it in the, the worm bin. Do not put onions in your worm bin. Do not put onions in your worm bin. Do not put garlic. Anything that's gonna give you gas or spicy, it's gonna give the worms gas. And I know you don't want no gas, and I know your worms don't want no gas. Help them out so they can help you. We are working together, baby. We are working together. We work to feed the soil, the worms to work to feed the plants, the plants work to feed us. It's one of these lowly, lowly kale plants. I'll just let it do its thing. See how it's producing these seeds? I'm just gonna take the seeds and just when they're ready, I'm gonna sprinkle them all around. I might wanna take a snack one day. You know, I'm hungry. Real good nutrients. So here, we have our teas that we make. So we're gonna add some of this dandelion. 
in each. That's gonna provide more bedding for them to wiggle in there. I'm gonna show y'all in a future video where we get this dandelion. We actually grow it here in the garden. Some people call it weeds, but dandelion is not a weed. That is plant food. This has been in here steeping for about four months. See, we don't waste nothing here. We do not put nothing in the green bin to take to the city dump. We keep everything. Why are we giving away our precious materials? Just so the garbage company can disrespect it. That don't make no sense. Yeah, then you got so many nutrients. It's ridiculous. They tell you it's a weed so they can sell you salt-based fertilizers, which is terrible. And this one, my friends, ah, this is my new experiment that I'm working on. This. All this speaks look, pigs. Super high in nutrients. Oh, damn, too much. This worm casting is strong, so I don't want this on my hands. I got somewhere to be tonight. So I'm just gonna use a shovel. Slide it to one side, cause we are gonna feed them tomorrow. You don't wanna leave your worm farm uncovered too long, cause the flies will start coming and they are gonna lay eggs. Look at all that goodness. Forgot to put my Crocs in sport mode, hold on. Now I'm ready. I see my dogs over there kicking it. Oh, they look good, boy. Y'all look good, boy. We gonna feed you. We gonna feed you, baby. Three bins of food that we mixed together already. So we gonna split it evenly down the middle and feed it to each worm pile. We already made space by moving it to the side. We gonna scoop the worms to one side and we gonna put the food, the new food, on the other side, on the, on the empty side. So they can migrate to the other side where the food at. And they'll leave this old pile alone and we can take this and put this in our garden and mix it with the soil. Ain't no rules to this, ain't, ain't no right or wrong. You do it your way, you do it what's the way works best for you. Scoop half and half. Yeah, I wish I could see all these worms at the bottom. Man, there's hell of them. Oh my God. Let me see. Y'all see them going crazy? And this avocado, they make babies when they get avocados. So if you want to multiply your worm bin, put avocados in there. They gonna multiply real quick. You see some stuff that's not mixed, that you mixed earlier, it's not completely mixed, go ahead and mix it. So we're gonna scoop, slide to the other side. Scoop, slide to the other side. Scoop, slide to the other side. The top on when we done. That's it. That's it, we feed them all at the same time. If we had one big bin, it'd be way easier, but we don't. We don't have the infrastructure or the space to do one bin. We gotta work with what we got. If you slide the worms to the one side and add the new food in on the empty side, then that way it's gonna give them a chance to 
separate from the old food that they already broke down to migrate to the new food that they about to break down. Once they migrate to this side, then you can take the old food out and then you keep rotating. Next time you're gonna add the new food to the other side and then you're gonna keep on popping it. Hmm, what is high in potassium? A banana. What is high in phosphorus? I need to look that up. Anybody know what's high in phosphorus? Please let me know, send a list in the comments. I need to add some extra phosphorus and some calcium in this mix. So if y'all know of any food is, that is high in phosphorus or any food that is high in calcium and magnesium, because our food that we get in the store is low in magnesium, it's low in all the nutrients, but if we add food that is high in those nutrients, we can add it back into the garden by adding it to the worm bin. So if anybody knows of any food that is high in phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, please let me know, put it in the comments for somebody else to know so they can add those nutrients to their garden. We got some dandelion tea that we make here in the garden. We're gonna try something new. We never tried this before. Gardening is all about experimentation. You're gonna try new things. You're gonna get different results. You wanna make your stuff the best at all times. You wanna keep working to improve your stuff. And what's better than some dandelion tea? So we're gonna add a little bit to the new food pile. You don't wanna get it too wet. We wanna multiply our nutrient supply. They like it wet a little bit, but they don't want it flooded. Do not flood the worms, they will die. So we'll add the dandelion tea to the top. I'll just be trying stuff, man. It ain't gonna hurt. It's gonna help. Well, that's how you feed the worms. We appreciate y'all stopping in. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the people that stuck around and didn't skip through. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate everybody equally, but we especially appreciate the ones that didn't skip through. You got all the good info. Until next time, it's a great day to plant life. I can't go another day. So much, I just need to say it in your face. I was just letting you know why. Appreciate for the love you can't fake. You create us a safe place. I just grew this flowers for you. From the seed that you sow, no words. So please let me show you that I just grew this flower for you. It's a rose for those days. So I came all the way to say I'm thankful that you said I just grew this flowers for you. From the seed that you sow, no words. So please let me show you that I just grew this flower for you. It's a rose for those days. So I came all the way to say I'm thankful that you said me. When the autumn fall breeze, trees leaves shall blow. I hope you glow to be old. You see the trees I grow. Oh, how I thirst for your H2O. Water me down deep. You my roots. I'm your peak. You see fruits. I say free. My soul, you tell truth when you speak.